Hello everyone and welcome to another Black Ops 3 video. Today I want to tell you the story of Leonard Alfred Funk, who despite serving only five years in the military from 1941 to 1945, goes down as one of the most distinguished and honored paratroopers in American history, receiving the Distinguished Service Cross, the Silver Star, the Bronze Star, three Purple Hearts, the Combat Infantry Badge, and of course the Medal of Honor, as well as achieving the rank of First Sergeant which in today's military, first sergeant in five years is ridiculously fast, although it wasn't quite as fast back then when field promotions were a little more common. But the story I want to tell you takes place on January 29th, 1945, as he was serving as the first sergeant of Charlie Company, 508th Parachute Infantry Regiment, 82nd Airborne Division, which is a mouthful to be sure. While assaulting the small town of Holstein, Belgium through knee-high snow and direct artillery fire, the Company XO became a casualty and First Sergeant Funk immediately assumed his duties and under his leadership, Charlie Company very efficiently ravaged the town and took some 80 militant hostages during the assault. The problem was that his team was very understaffed at this point and they wanted to move ahead and join up with another group of soldiers but they didn't have any information on what was going on in front of them. So First Sergeant Funk decided to leave a unit of only four soldiers in the background to guard the 80 prisoners they had taken hostage because they really truly couldn't spare any more soldiers than that. And so he took a very small unit with him to scout ahead and find out if the road was safe to go meet up with another company that they knew was several miles in front of them. While he was gone, the four soldiers that he left behind were ambushed by a group of 10 Nazis who managed to subdue the four soldiers, disarm them, and free their 80 hostages, arming about half of them with all that they had with them at the time. Now, First Sergeant Leonard didn't know any of this was going on, so as he was coming back from his scouting mission, he rounded a corner to find a Nazi officer with an MP40 pressed directly into his stomach, and his four soldiers being held hostage by the 80 hostages that he had left them to guard. Now sometimes the human mind has a hard time processing massive amounts of a single emotion at one time and it forgets exactly what the response to that emotion is supposed to be. So you might find yourself, you know, in a very tense, scary situation where all you want to do is cry, but when you open your mouth you just start laughing. And this is what happened to First Sergeant Funk in this situation because as the German officer began yelling at him, Last Dein Waffenfallen! First Sergeant Funk had no idea what he was saying. He didn't speak German. So uh, he just began laughing, just uncontrollably. He said later that he was trying not to laugh. He was. This wasn't a strategic move on his part. He just truly lost control. The, the fact that there's this presumably sociopathic, murderous... Nazi officer holding a gun to his stomach, shouting something in a language he doesn't understand, and the fact that they're outnumbered about 80 to 5 at this point, and there's really no way that they're not going to at least be taken captive. Obviously, he's... He's really scared here, and he just starts laughing hard. And so the, the Nazi officer, very irritated at this point, yells at him again, Last dein Waffe fallen! And <laughs> First Sergeant Funk is just cracking up, and he, he looks over at his men, and he's like, I don't know what he's saying! And at this point, the... The, the whole atmosphere of the thing had changed and was just starting to feel ridiculous and and the American hostages are starting to kind of crack a smile and start laughing at this point. The, even the Nazi soldiers watching this whole spectacle of this guy who at this point is literally hunched over laughing hysterically, just completely out of control of his ability to to keep a straight face even the nazi soldiers are starting to laugh at this point and the whole thing just feels ridiculous and so first sergeant funk is just sitting there just cracking up talking to his men like nothing's going on i don't understand what he's saying what is going on this is stupid and finally he manages to pull himself together enough to pull his 
uh, Thompson submachine gun around and emptied an entire 30-round magazine into the stomach of the Nazi officer. And before anybody can react, everyone's in shock at this point. The Nazis are still kind of laughing a little bit. They're not processing what's going on in front of them. Before anybody could even react... First Sergeant Funk had ripped the magazine out of his machine gun, slammed in another one, and started opening fire on the 80 Nazis, half of which were armed. And as they were falling, he yells to his men, hey, pick up those machine guns! And so his men grab those guns, and they, and they start firing. And before it's all said and done, or when it's all said and done, rather, these five American soldiers had taken over and recaptured all of the Nazis left standing, and and I don't believe, and every story I've read about this does not specify that any of the Americans had died. So I believe that all five, the rear guard and First Sergeant Funk himself, had actually survived this engagement, which is incredible. And when the dust all settled, the Americans were standing, the Nazis were captive again, First Sergeant Funk looks at his men and just says, that was the most ridiculous thing I'd ever seen. Now, of course, the official Medal of Honor citation doesn't say anything about him laughing hysterically because that might be a little bit unofficial and, and unprofessional to put on there, but the actual official Medal of Honor citation for First Sergeant Funk reads, He distinguished himself by gallant and trepid actions against the enemy. After advancing 15 miles in a driving snowstorm, the American force prepared to attack through waist-deep drifts. The company executive officer became a casualty and First Sergeant Funk immediately assumed his duties, forming headquarters soldiers into a combat unit for an assault in the face of direct artillery, uh, artillery rather shelling and harassing fire from the right flank. Under his skillful and courageous leadership, the mus miscellaneous group and the 3rd Platoon attacked 15 houses, cleared them, and took 30 prisoners without suffering a casualty. The fierce drive of Charlie Company quickly overran Holstheim, netting some 80 prisoners who were placed under a four-man guard, all that could be spared while the rest of the understrength unit went about mopping up isolated points of resistance. An enemy patrol, by means of a ruse, succeeded in capturing the guards and freeing the prisoners, and had begun preparations to attack Charlie Company from the rear when First Sergeant Funk walked around the building and into their midst. He was ordered to surrender by a German officer who pushed a machine pistol into his stomach. Although overwhelmingly outnumbered and facing almost certain death, First Sergeant Funk pretended to comply with the order, because began slowly unsling his submachine gun from his shoulder and then, with a lightning motion, brought the muzzle into line and riddled the German officer. He turned the other Germans firing and shouting to the other Americans to seize the enemy weapons. In the ensuing fight, 21 Germans were killed, many wounded, and the remainder captured. First Sergeant Funk's bold action and heroic disregard for his own safety were directly responsible for the recapture of a vastly superior enemy force, which, if allowed to remain free, could have taken the widespread units of Charlie Company by surprise and endangered the entire attack plan. So thanks for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please understand that I do not speak a lick of German, so if I butchered a lot of the pronunciations in this, I apologize. I did my best, and hopefully it just came off as more funny than insulting. And goodbye.